Psalms 123 and 2. Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord, Yahweh Shai, our power, until that he have mercy upon us. Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Kakwadash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai being the name of his beloved Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names. And the Lashwan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. And blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. And the title I'm going to give uh, this lesson is. On thee do I wait all the day, okay? On thee, Yahweh Bashma Shai, do I wait all the day, you know, um, dealing with patience, okay? Something that is a, a necessity in this, in this truth and uh, something that you learn while um, being on this journey, okay? Being on this, on this, on this righteous path, you learn how to wait um, and be long-suffering. You know, concerning, um, you know, uh, uh, waiting upon our Lord, Yahweh Shai. The scriptures speak about the patient waiting of Yahweh Shai. Let me, uh, let me get that patient waiting. Okay, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 5, it says, And the Lord direct your hearts into the, into the love of the Heavenly Father and into the patient waiting for Yahweh Shai. So this thing is not a, a, a race. All right, this thing is uh, a marathon, man. It's about endurance, okay? And um, that's something that we're commanded as the servants of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, is to wait and to watch. <clears throat> so I want to, um, you know, go into this example of, you know, waiting, dealing with this dog, um, Hachiko, if I'm saying it right. You know, I've done a lesson on it before in the past. But I'm revisiting it, you know. I think it's edifying. Um, you know, the scriptures speak about um, the beast would, could teach thee, you know. This is Job 12 and 7. It says, But ask now the beast, and they shall teach thee, and the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. So we can learn from the actions of this dog, which we know dog. In the Hebrews is Kalab, you know, which, you know, Caleb, you know, goes back to like loyalty, you know, faithfulness. Okay, so, um, yeah, Hachiko. Okay, now going down here, it says, Hachiko was born on November 10th, 1923, at a farm near the city of Odate, Akita Prefecture, if I'm saying that correctly. In, 19, in 1924, uh, had a Saburo uh, Ueno, a professor at the Tokyo Imperial U University, brought him to live in Shibuya, Tokyo, as his pet. Okay, it says Hachiko would meet Ueno or Uno at Shibuya Station every day after his commute home. Okay, so like you for butchering those names. You know, but um, yeah, hey, I bought this 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 dog, okay. I believe a year old. You know, the pup was a year old. Um, it says uh, he brought him home to Tokyo as his pet. It says Hachiko would meet Yuino at Shibuya Station every day after his commute home, okay. This continued until May 21st, 1925, when Ueno died of cerebral hemorrhage while at work. Okay, so he had the dog for about a year, you know, and the dog would, would wait for his master every day at that station, of course, expecting his arrival. So then one day at work, this guy died. It's for, it says from this, I mean, from then until his death on March 8th, 19, 1935, okay, <clears throat> which is what, um, 10 years, nine years, from this, 
From then until his death on March 8, 1935, Hachiko would return to Shibuya Station every day to await Ueno's return. Okay? So every day he was going back to that station waiting upon his master. Okay? Which, you know, we're commanded to to wait. Um, what's that? Uh... This is uh, Luke 12 and 35. It says, right, be in readiness. It says, let, let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. And ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, Shall find watching, right? And wait and watch. Um go hand in hand. Right? Right? It says, look, uh, wait. On Adam Online, it says to watch with hostile intent. To lie and wait for a plot against. Nope. Um, right here, to watch. Okay. Uh to defend, watch out, be on one's guard. Okay, so. Right down here, it says to watch, to guard, right? To watch, be awake, okay? So we are the watchmen, all right? As we wait, we watch, right? Yahweh yeah, Shai told us to, to, um, to watch and pray, <clears throat> right? So it says, uh, Luke 12 and 37, Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he uh, cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird, uh, gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. And he shall come in the second. And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. And this note that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. Okay, so we were commanded to watch. Okay, and to wait. You know, going back to this example, um, Hachiko, you know, waited for his master. Okay, not knowing that his master, uh, you know, had died. All right. So it says, during his lifetime, the dog was held up in Japanese culture. Salat. During his lifetime, the dog was held up in Japanese culture as an example of loyalty and fidelity, right? Uh, Fidel going back to faith. Okay. It says, all right, so they held him up. They held him up high, you know, uh, in the Japanese culture. You know, they done made statues about the dude, I mean, about the dog. So he's a symbol of, of basically faithfulness. It says, uh, since his death, he continues to be remembered worldwide in popular culture with statues, movies, and books. Hachiko is also known in Japanese as uh, Chukin Hachiko, faithful dog, right? Faithful dog Hachiko, okay? So faithful dog, like I mentioned with Caleb, Kalab is a you know dog in the Hebrew. Okay, so, you know, faithful, loyal, uh, all interchangeable. Okay, so he was as loyal as they came. Okay, which, you know, that's that's exactly what the elect is going to do. They're going to they're going to wait, you know, upon Yahweh Shai, no matter what. This is uh, Sirach 36 and 12. It says, reward them that wait for thee. And let thy prophets be found faithful. Okay, reward them that wait for thee. All right, there's a reward coming for the, the, the souls, you know, the brothers that endure unto the end. You know, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. Okay, faithful to Yahweh Shemal Shai. So we can learn from, from Hachiko, you know. Right here it says, known for faithfully waiting 
for the return of his deceased owner for more than nine years until his death. Okay, and you have men in his truth that 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 couldn't wait nine years, you know? <clears throat> Scriptures speak about um what is that? Um Matthew. Here we go. This is uh Matthew 13, getting straight to the point. Um uh, 20. It says, but he that received the seed in the stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and the known with joy receiveth it, yet have he yet have he not root in himself, but endure for a while. Right? And, that, and that's 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 the thing. A while could be ten years, five years, fifteen years, you know. Yet have he not root in himself, but endure for a while, for when tribulation or persecution ariseth. Because of the word, by and by, he's offended. All right, you have some men that that get tired of waiting. All right, they they, they lose patience. The scriptures say that. Want well, you that have lost patience? Uh, what will you do when the Lord visits you? Okay. Uh, so that's one thing you got. We got to constantly pray for is patience. This is uh, Sirach, two. And uh, at 14, it says, Woe unto you that have lost patience, right? Woe means destruction. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? You see? You see? Scripture speak about it's, it's better to uh, not be born than to betray the Son of Man. All right? It says, uh, Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. You see that capital W. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. Okay, so, hey, part of obeying the Lord is continuing in his word, waiting, uh, you know, doing the work, being faithful. Right? So, we can learn from this, from this dog right here, man. Okay, let me get a few more scriptures. You know, I just believe that's a, a a a beautiful story. You know, it's like yeah. This is Psalms twenty five and five. It says, "Our four, show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation." On thee do I wait all the day. You see? That's where I got the title of the scriptures from. I mean, of the lesson from. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of, of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. You see? We're constantly waiting upon uh, Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. And, and, and it don't matter how long, you know? Look how long the apostles been doing it. Look how long they've been waiting. They've been waiting uh, longer than some of our lives, you know? So we have no excuse. It's one of my favorites right here. Hosea 12 and 6, Therefore it turned out to thy God, Yahweh B'Shem Shai, keep mercy and judgment and wait on thy God continually. You see? Wait on thy God continually. Beautiful. And I'm going to end it with this scriptures, Micah 7 and 7. It says, Therefore, I will look unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God, Yahweh Bashem Shai, will hear me. You see? So, therefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My power will, will hear me. All right? And the Lord is uh, hearing us. Okay? Yahweh Bashem Shai is hearing our, our prayers, our cries. And we know everything's going to happen in due time, you know? Everything with the Lord is perfect timing, all right? <clears throat> but we got to endure it to the end, all right? And one of those ingredients is to have patience, man. That's how we're going to make it, all right? You got to know how to uh, to be long-suffering, you know? Know how to suffer, man. <clears throat> Scripture speak about uh, 
suffering suffering patiently for the Lord, you know. So the Lord's will satisfying on thee do I wait all the day, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim Hawashah, Bashim Kakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.